Welcome to the Geek Home World. I am your host, Ed, aka Savage Tech Man. We talk sci fi, TV, movies, superheroes, and all from a geek perspective. You can find us on Blogger, Google, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube. We're everywhere. Join the Geek Home World. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Geek Home World podcast. I am your host, Ed Sisevich, here, bringing you some more content uh, during this uh, trying time. And I'm about to go live on Facebook Live. So if you're listening to the audio recording of this, you won't see it, but you can go and see it on Facebook Live. So I'm starting a Facebook Live, and... It's a little late, so I'm not sure if anybody's going to come on. So let's see. Alrighty, so um, we're live on Facebook Live, uh, Geek Home World here, um, Ed Sisvich here, and um, just uh, talking about what's going on, bringing you some new content, kind of get you through everything that's going on here in the world. It's a scary time. For everyone, um, we're all feeling this uh, going on, so it's uh, nothing new. Um, so if you're there, joining me now on Facebook Live, we're going to be chatting. Um, I say a friend of mine, Dorothy, hey, I'm waving at you on Facebook Live there. Um, we're recording this for the podcast, uh, my Geek Home World podcast, which is lo- located at geekhomeworld.libsyn.com on iTunes and everywhere you get your podcast. So this will be an episode of that. Um, also doing the Facebook Live on my personal page this time. Um, there is also Geek Home World. Um, and um, we're going to, I'm just here to talk, you know. Some people need to talk and and say what's on your mind. And um, so if you want to, in the chat, if you uh, on Facebook Live, if you want to send me some comments and everything, or um, whatever you want to talk about. What are you doing to get through um, this coronavirus thing that's taken over the whole world? You know, how's life? Um, are you healthy? Um, and I'm going to tell you some of the stuff that I've been doing. Are you social distancing? Um, that's like the new hip term that <laughs> everybody's got to do. Um, uh, I'm going to talk about some shows that I've I've watched Um a couple of good ones. Uh, I got one really good one that came as a suggestion from one of my friends on Facebook. And so, um, uh, that that's on there too. So anywho, um, I'm waving at people there. So we're just, uh, talking here. Um, and, um, today we hit a milestone today actually is it's Saturday. What day is it? And I've got to look at my phone right here. I'm going to pull down. So it's going to look funny. On the video it is saturday about 11 30 p.m so um as i'm recording this and um and so we hit that um number of uh 2000 deaths in this country i believe and a lot more um uh infections and worldwide um Things are probably going to get worse before they get better, you know, but it's how we deal with it, how, how we get through it, how we pull together that makes all the difference in the world. So, um, let me know through the Facebook live there, if you've got anything you want to chat about, um, and we'll talk about it. Like I said, I'm recording this for the podcast for those listening. So you won't be able to listen to it back and, uh, and all that. So, um, during all this, um, since, you know, my podcast, uh, geek home world is about entertainment and I'm in the film industry and a radio show host, uh, Savannah on film, a little plug there. Um, and, uh, I see Dorothy in the chat. Dorothy's been on my show before we got to get you back on. Uh, when I get back on, I'm not actually doing the show now. Um, I'm social distancing, which means staying at home all the time, which is weird. And, uh, it's good because it's creative. Um, I was planning on 
done a book release this year and uh, uh, some original poetry that I've written. Uh, uh, many of you may or may not know that I'm a poet, so um, I'm going through the editing process uh, with more of a fine tooth comb. So that's coming out. That's a big announcement. Um, and some of you knew. Um, hello, Bethany. I see uh, you there on the Facebook Live. But anyway, I was just talking about, uh, so the book is coming along. It's, it's a book of original poetry. It's, it's, um, it's been written since I wrote it between August of 2019 and pretty much November, December. And I thought I was going to get it edited and published and all that. And I was, I was planning, still am planning a book signing and all that fun stuff. So then, um, you know, the holidays kind of got in the way, so things got pushed a little bit off. And then I said, well, you know, I'm going to um, uh, get that poetry out. Because for me, I'm a creator, whether it's content, whether it's creating with sound as a sound mixer, recording, you know, fabulous uh, films and TV projects I get to work on. And uh, thank you, Dorothy, for that comment. She said, you're a poet, question mark. Awesome. Thank you. Uh, yes, I am. I've written uh, over 400 poems in my life. I've done the self-publishing thing about three times. I even hosted a poetry group back in the 90s um, in downtown Savannah. So that was uh, a fun, fun part of my life. And I've kind of gotten back into writing. And so being stuck here at the homestead uh, here in my studio um it's kind of um good for writing and i'm even thinking of, i've had some ideas of stuff i want to write about um related to what's going on and i'm i'm probably going to somehow catalog whether it's through my poetry or something else or just simply um vlogging or recording through my podcast or different forms. Um, I know it's going to affect everything. You know, when you look at the grand scheme of what's going on in the world and how everyone is really in this together, it's not just a hashtag. It's not about hashtags. And, uh, it's just a very sobering thing. I know there's a lot of people that are out there suffering those, there's many more that will be suffering, some that will not make it. Um, I'm trying to stay as healthy as I can. Uh, my wife and I, we she's working from home. Um, we've been doing this since around, what, mid-March here in Savannah. And I know it may be different for some other places in the country. I have family out in Ohio, so uh, my brother and sister-in-law, she's out there and so I'm always hoping and praying for them and for all of you, all of my friends. And and uh, we're going to get through this. We're just going to have to try to remain positive. And I want to say from being a creative person, as, as especially uh, Dorothy, I know you'll definitely probably agree with this. Um, now is a great time to hone those skills that you've got, you know, to to. You know, we can't, like if you're an actor, you can't go to acting classes. You can do it online, but, you know, work on that self, that, that audition tape or whatever it is. You know, we all say um, that we never have time. Yeah, don't we all say that? I wish I had the time. I'm, I'm sorry I can't do this or go there because, you know, I wish I had time, but time is fleeting. So, but guess what we, guess what we all have in our hands now? a lot of time. Now, if you're a parent, you're homeschooling and all that. And so now is a, a wonderful time. Um, I'm reading a comment here from uh, Dorothy um, and she's uh, Hadley Jolie. We, we always joke about her name. I, I always say it wrong. So I'm going to say Jolene, Jolene, Jolene. It's kind of a a joke. Um, but um, she said you could host uh, poetry events at coffee houses when you are past this. And that, that is certainly the plan. Um, and uh, I see Corey a, is joining us from New York. Um, I hear they may be putting y'all on a big lockdown. At least the president wants to. So, you know, please comment. Um, let us know how you're doing up there. I hope you're well. 
and everything is, you know, it's crazy. But um, back to uh, what Dorothy's comment was that we're talking about the poetry. And she said, um, uh, you know, or maybe you can go online, uh, coffee house, Zoom poetry night. Well, we're doing something. I, I discovered Zoom. I'm a little late to the party on that one. And because uh, I've been exploring different apps and different ways to broadcast and and um, in these times. And of course, I'm always going to do my audio podcast. And so this will be part of the audio podcast. Um, and um, doing this streaming on Facebook Live, it just gives that great interactive this, you know, we can communicate back and forth and, and that's wonderful. And, uh, so I can hear what you think and, you know, vice versa. Um, but yes, I, I, I discovered zoom and we had a church group, uh, that we're leading my wife and I, um, one of, of a few more. And, uh, we used zoom the other night. Um, Hey, uh, Riri, Riri Hill, welcome back. Um, and, um, so anyway, we got on Zoom and we were able to um, do a little chat and it's a, a little a little fellowship thing that we're going through. I'm Catholic, so going through um, Lent, this is weird like it is for a lot of people. You know, you can't go to church, which is strange to me, but um, I can watch it on TV and uh, the Pope. Um, what a sobering thing that was. I don't know if any of you saw that. It was on EWTN and... Uh, and uh, it was just very, um, very, very, very deep. It kind of hit me there, you know, spiritually, just seeing the Pope out there and St. Uh, um, by St. Peter's Basilica and all that in, uh, in Rome and the Vatican and, and um, just by himself and the one gentleman that was, you know, helping him get around. And, and um, it, it just drives home, you know, we're praying for everybody and it doesn't matter what your beliefs, your political, whatever is your, your religion, whatever. Um, it's all about everybody coming together. And I only think that this is going to bring us all together in a better way that, that we look at things that are, that bother us in our daily lives or things about other people we don't always like and we don't get along over just dumb, dumb things, you know, things that really don't matter. After all of this, I think we're going to realize in making it through this, how important those relationships are in our lives. If we have friends that we haven't reached out to, there are people young and old that are affected. Everyone's affected. And I think I'm a positive person. Don't think I don't get down and don't think I don't get anxiety because I am a bit of a news hound and, and, uh, technically I'm part of the media because of my radio show. So I'm, I'm always, you know, but I've always been into, you know, what's going on with the world. I feel things globally. I don't just feel what I feel. I feel, you know, if that makes sense. Um, so the trick is that it's very difficult. It's been hard for me. There's a couple days and I'm not used to being, um, stuck in the house. Um, we were able to go out to, um, the park before the kind of big lockdown that they had here. And, um, and that was nice. Um, one day I was just really getting cabin fever and my heart goes out to, especially those parents out there who are now teachers who are now homeschooling. Uh, we have a friend of ours who homeschools, um, their kids, but you know, they they go to all these different events, so they get the social interaction, but now, you know, it's just really brought home how much we can do and, and I think even more of an appreciation if you're a parent, I, and I'm not a parent, so, but um, I think it brings home how important the work that the teachers are doing for the kids, you know, trying to educate the kids. And uh, if you're a stay-at-home parent or if you're homeschooling or if you're now homeschooling, you know, if that's put on top of everything else you've got to do in your career and you may be working from home, or if you're in the film industry and you're not working or, you know, um, there's so many aspects to this. Um, 
you know, um, I tell you what, uh, I, I've watched a lot more TV than I get to watch. Um, so, um, there's a question there that, uh, Dorothy has and, um, says, so how many friends and so, so many friends are parenting and working from home. And, uh, my good friend Jerry is on here. Hey Jerry. Um, this is part of a podcast for anybody just joining us. I'm going to be recording this for an episode of my geek home world podcast. Um, so if you want to leave questions or comments and, and let's get a chat going here, um, I'm talking about what we're doing, how we're going to get through this and we're only going to get through this together and, um, uh, doesn't matter who you are, where you come from, where you think you're going, you know, the virus doesn't know you from me. It doesn't know anybody else. None of us are, well, some of us may be immune from it and you know, hopefully the research will find that out. Um, I saw an interesting, uh, report where they said that, they're taking some of the plasma from people who have had the disease um, come down with the virus, the coronavirus, um, COVID-19, and they're taking their plasma and injecting it into people who are going through it, hoping that those antibodies that were created will help. So, you know, that and a vaccine coming along the way or whatever, you know, uh, we get to. Um, hopefully, I know it's not hopefully. We are definitely getting through this. Uh, some of us hopefully will, hopefully the deaths will stop. Hopefully more people will recover. We don't focus enough on the people that are recovering because it's a smaller number than the people infected and, um, and the people that have unfortunately passed away during all of this. But it is important to focus on the positive, to focus, I mean, to be realistic about what's going on. It's, it's okay to, to have fear. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to have your anxiety just go through the roof. It's okay. Those are natural things. If you, I mean, we are genetically made that way as, as human beings to, you know, be afraid of something or in the sense that, you know, it's, it's kind of like a, you know, uh, back in the day when the, the cavemen, we were cavemen and women, you know, when something was going to attack, we had fear. We had, you know, but we learned to overcome that fear and, and different things. So that, that's just part of our genetic makeup, I suppose. Um, but I want to know, my question to you guys are, how are you dealing with this? Uh, what stories do you have? Um, what are some of the struggles you're going through? Uh, know that you're not alone in those struggles. Um, so far I'm blessed to be okay. As far as I know, um, I'm staying away from everybody. And as an extrovert, that's killing me. <laughs> it makes me think that if this was, it's just a joke. And I mean, this in the best way possible, not making fun of anything, but I almost feel like this is an introvert's dream, you know, this whole pandemic, um, because extroverts like myself, uh, I miss shaking people's hands. I miss, um, you know, giving someone a hug. I miss, um, you know, saying hey to people or seeing physically seeing people, you know, and talking with them and, and, um, letting them talk once in a while while I'm talking. <laughs> if, if you know me, you know, I'm, I'm a chatterbox. I, I can't help it. I, but I'm trying to get better about that. So, um, anyway, uh, so, so it, it, it's, it, it's, it's hard to sometimes deal with it all and just, uh, if you watch the news, you'll go crazy. And, you know, watching the numbers climb is is a lot. Um, I'm going to pivot real quick in the conversation. And, and, and please, um, you know, ask some questions here on Facebook Live if you want to um, or comments or whatever. If you've got questions for me um, or you just want to post a question to the group that's watching, that's great. Um, but some of the things I'm doing, uh, well, some things I'm watching first. Um, and this came uh, a friend and I, I forgot who honestly forgot who said you ought to check this out because people have been sending me a lot of different people here watch this you need to go watch this and catch this on that and uh one of the best things i've seen was train to busan that's b-u-s-a-n it's on netflix and i really can't tell you about it without ruining it but um I, I looked it up. It's from 2016, but it's on Netflix and it's called Train to Busan. And um, it is 
it um, involves a uh, it involves zombies, okay? I, I, I hope that's not giving too much away. If you watch the trailer, you'll see that that's what it, it involves. But it's very it's very good. It's very well done. So Train to Busan, I would highly recommend that. Um, and that's on Netflix. Um, we took advantage of something I said I was not going to do because I was not going to pay for CBS All Access. And I'm, I'm still not. Uh, but they're offering it for free. So um, I got to... Uh, I got to um, get my CBS All Access Pass, and we've seen a couple episodes of Picard, and I do have to say, I am thoroughly enjoying it. Uh, welcome, Richard. Uh, welcome, Barbara. Doing this um, Facebook Live here. It's also going out as a podcast episode for my Geek Homeworld podcast, so we're just talking about everything in general, so please ask questions, comments, um, how are things, um, how's New York? Because a, a couple people on here are in New York right now, so I want to know how you're doing there. Um, and some of us are, you know, here in Savannah, um, in different places. Um, but anyway, so I got to watch Picard, and I'm very impressed at the amount of money they must have used for the set pieces. And I'm really liking Picard. I mean, it's hard not to like Sir Patrick Stewart. And I thought that I would really have an issue with... Um, with Picard, you know, I've heard some good and bad things, but I'm enjoying it. Um, now just, uh, seeing Barbara here makes me think about Council of Dads came out, um, which I had a month, almost a month worth of shows on my Savannah on film, uh, radio show, podcast, um, Facebook live thing. Um, and, and, uh, Barbara was one of my guests and, and uh, it was fantastic. And I got to see the finally got to see the preview uh, episode this past week, and I enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was good. It was nice to see Savannah's front and center as it is in the book that it's based upon. Um, Cancel of Dads is I'm excited for. I think it's it's going to be really good. I'm feeling very positive about it. I think it's it's going to be. It's the next kind of Forrest Gump thing, but it it's kind of like how the book... Now they're going to have to say the two books, I think, but, you know, Midnight in the Garden, Good and Evil was the book, and it probably will always be known as that. And that's how people see Savannah, and a lot of people come because of the beautiful imagery and stuff, but we're seeing a more modern um, nuclear type of family, the a new family that's more diverse and uh, maybe representative of this times of these times. Um, and so that's cool. It's, it's awesome. I, I enjoyed the show. It's um, it premiered after this is us, which I've actually not watched. Um, I'm probably the only human being that hasn't seen that show. I'm sure it's a good show. It's just usually not my wheelhouse, but uh, I, I did. um I did watch uh, Cancel of Dads. I'm excited. It's coming back April 30th. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and uh, so um, it, you can check it out on um, NBC. Peacock's not out yet, is it? Their streaming service not, hasn't launched yet, but um, you can still catch uh, catch it. Uh, um, the premiere, the pilot episode, I should say, but Cancel of Dads is coming. Um you may have listened. I don't know if you've listened to uh, Savannah on film, but I did. We're doing some encore episodes until I can safely get back in the studio. Not that the studio is unsafe. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> it's just uh, um, right now I'm social isolating and I'm trying to figure ways to remotely do my Savannah on film radio show. Um, probably some pre recorded interviews. So I'm looking at different ways, maybe Facebook Live, maybe whatever, you know, and. Um, I was working on an equipment setup here, you off camera here. You probably can't see. I have a, I found an old mixer that I have, so I might be able to, to get something going there. I've got to get my tech brain going on, so I can figure out how exactly I'm going to do this. I may have to have some call-ins here to my studio. So, anyway, um, until further notice, there'll be um. On Savannah on Film, I'm just going to be running some um, encore episodes. I had uh, Stephen Yetman, that episode, which aired about a month ago. And so I had that back on this weekend. And uh, 
I may be going through some some more episodes going back a little bit and uh, running those and until we can figure out I can figure out you know how I'm going to move forward with the show. I may go in and do an episode, but we're very um, very strict guidelines on 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 how to social distance and all that and kind of hard doing a radio show. It can be done and all that, but I just want to make sure that, that I'm being responsible. That's why I'm social distancing uh, as much as I can't stand it. Uh, it's, it's been interesting though. Um, so what are your challenges um, for everybody who's watching? Um, what are you going through? What are your experiences? Um, um, how are you, how has your life changed? how do you expect it to change? Um, you know, those are some questions I I pose to you. Um, more importantly, um, I'm starting to see a lot of people say they're going to throw some really big parties, uh, once this is over. So what are you going to do once all of this is over? We're not sure when, when that is, but, um, you know, I I see a lot of talk there. There's resiliency in all of us and we're going to get through this. Um, it's, um, it's going to be, it's going to be great. You know, um, I mean, we're going to go through some hard times, but we're going to go through it together and, uh, you're never alone. That's the thing. You're never alone and anything is possible. Um, I'm strong in my face, so I, you know, but I have all fears and anxieties about what could go on and, uh, I don't want to go back into that, but, um, uh, I'm trying to exercise. I was able to get out once before the, the kind of lock, city lockdown and this and that and got to go and uh, walk and be in nature and, and like the park. And that was nice. And, you know, if I got even near a person, you should have seen me the first time I went out the house. I was like, uh, <laughs> I was just like, if I saw a person, I was like, ah, it's like, you know, the walking dead or something. But um, I don't know. Uh, just trying to be responsible. Social isolating isn't about, it's not just about taking care of yourself. It's about thinking about others and, and, and their family, their relatives. It's, it's that important. And, um, it's something that, that maybe we should have done sooner. Um, I apologize if, if that, if you hear the air coming on, I don't know if you can hear that. Um, Um, but, um, it's 90, it was 90 degrees today and, um, uh, let's see, Uh, I'm, I'm reading this. I'm I'm reading comment here from uh, Dorothy. She says, I have the good fortune to be making silly little films for our students at school for the last couple of days. I make them myself and star in them and write them grateful. She says, and that's awesome. Um, I'm pretty sure y'all are going to be on a lockdown pretty soon if you aren't, uh, like we kind of are here. Um, so, I, but, but that is great. See, it's, it's about our lives just don't end because this virus decided to show up. Uh, in fact, any problem there, there is an alternative to it. Every bad situation in life, whatever it is, I always truly believe you can take a bad situation. There is a grain of goodness in all of it. Okay. Even if it's, it's like trying to find that one little speckle of light in a dark room. And when you find that speckle of light, darkness can't exist where light exist it just can't light's always gonna win so there's that optimism there's that faith there's that um, belief that knowing that we're stronger together and we're stronger and we're gonna get through this and and we can find creative ways like i said earlier we always complain about how this world is moving so fast and i feel it all the time my phone's like you got to be here you got to be there my calendar says let's do this do this i know i got to get this done i got to get this done um i've got an easel uh what do you call it dry erase board here i've started to uh, write things on it that i need to get done on a daily basis and generally <laughs> i'm fulfilling those excuse me as a take a drink here of uh unsweetened tea i can't have the sweet stuff there you go that's good um anyway um 
but yeah, staying structured, that's important. Um, I can go down a lot of rabbit holes if I'm, my imagination is like, okay, well, let's follow this or let's watch this video. And then before you know it, I'm, I'm just stuck. <laughs> so I have to kind of monitor myself. I have to break up the monotony of things and, you know, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to do this. I'm going to work on this now. Um, we've got a little exercise bike here. Um, I get, I have this Fitbit that my wife, uh, gave to me and, um, I'm doing okay today on it, but the other day it was like driving me crazy because like 10 minutes to the hour to say you would have 250 steps. So I'm like walking back and forth in the house and I found out, and I don't think this is cheating because it counts as elliptical, but I got, I put it in my pocket, took it off and put it in my pocket and I wasn't thinking about it for a second. And I got on the uh, exercise bike, which is like right over there off camera. And so I'm, I'm riding the bike and then I picked it up out of my pocket and I was like, oh my gosh, it counted that as steps. And I'm like, oh, maybe that's cheating. I don't know. But if I can't like go outside, I did go out and get the mail today and I saw some people, but I, I stayed like 12 people distance from them, you know, <laughs> and all that. And, and, um, that we have a, a little cul-de-sac here with neighbors and also it's, it's cool to see them and, and talk to them. And I've, I've, talked in passing you know um thank the maker um i had enough toilet paper and paper towels and stuff um i can't stand people that are hoarding stuff i think that's a little selfish i get being a prepper that's a little bit different but people going out and hoarding it i saw somebody selling toilet paper for like 24 or 48 dollars online i'm like you know, that's just price gouging. That's just wrong. Um, there's nothing about being prepared. But here's here's the thing. Um, especially after 9-11, this is something that, you know, has always kind of been in my mind. You know, there's that sense of prepping and being making sure you've got, you know, at least, what is it? I can't remember. I should know this. But um, it's like you got to have, what, three days worth of water, like... You can go like a, three days without water. Is it three hours without water? No. Three days? I don't know. I, I'm messing it up. Um, GetReady.gov is probably, or ready.gov, I think, is the website that tells you all that. But basically what I'm trying to say, and I'm not saying it well, apparently, is that there are ways to, to you know, have your, your backup supply and, and stuff. And so we were supply before all this broke and this became a thing and people hoarding toilet paper, we, we were good. Um, there, you know, so we're fine so far. So in case you're wondering, um, uh, I tell you, it's just the funniest stuff. Um, everybody's watching this show call on Netflix called, um, Tiger King or whatever. Um, or some, something like that. It's just a crazy shot out show. I started watching the first episode and then they had this like anaconda on there. this really long snake. And I'm like, I don't like, I'm like Indiana Jones. I don't like snakes. I don't like snakes. Um, and, uh, so I was, I was like, I'm okay. I'm gone. <laughs> I was like, I can't watch this. And so we turned it off. Um, Dorothy's saying three days. Okay. So that's like three days. You should have like three days supply of stuff. So yeah, that that's, that's important. I think going forward, I think a lot of us are going to be prepared for if this virus comes back again, you know, hopefully we'll have vaccine by then. Hopefully it'll be gone. Maybe it'll burn itself out. Um, the whole idea, I don't know if you've ever heard of herd, um, what is it called? Herd immunity. And, um, I saw the calculations on this. That means herd meaning like, is it one third or two thirds? I can't remember. Math is not my strong suit, obviously, but, um, if a certain amount, like one third or two thirds, whichever it is of people get this, this, this uh, virus, then we'll build up what's called a herd immunity. And then that that one third of it that's left or two thirds, depending whatever the ratio was of the of thirds, um, will be immune from it. So um, basically, it's kind of like if you grew up and 
chicken pox was a thing. You know, they'd put you together with other kids so you get chicken pox. Well, this is a little bit different because, you know, you can actually, you could die from this. So it's very serious. Um, and um, so if you build up a herd immunity to something, that means that the virus is kind of either that or usually warmer temperatures like we're having these 90s. I don't think that's a coincidence around here that it's 90 degrees. I think that's because in Chatham County, we've got at the recording of this, we've got like 15 cases and that's uh, the county where I live. And so um, I, it, it's hopefully, but you don't want the herd humi- the herd immunity thing though is bad in the sense that when you put that into a perspective of how many people there are in the country, that would be like 2.5, I think billion people. No, maybe that's million. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be quoting facts that I don't know that I can't get right. Um, (laughs) so, um, anyway, so, but we don't want that. We, we we can't afford to have the... We have to flatten this curve. We have to get past this, and we will get past this. Um, so um, we're doing the exercise, um, catching up on a lot of Netflix, a lot of stuff on the DVR that I'm meaning to watch, um, trying to stay active, um, trying to stay organized about my day, and um, trying to be grateful as... As uh, Dorothy said on here, um, which I, I'm always grateful. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm ungrateful, but I, I always I'm thankful for every day because not a moment is promised, and and it's just it's just really good to um, to evaluate. This is a great time to evaluate to say, you know, to take stock of what is important in life and uh, realize that, you know, some things deserve our attention more than others. And, and um, things like, you know, we don't need to entertain our fears and anxieties. We need to entertain our hearts with love and, and compassion for people and uh, working together and uh, being, being there for each other. Mm, Excuse me. Let me get a sip here unsweetened tea tea is good for you i've been drinking a lot of tea lately though i will say it's caffeinated so that's what's kept me awake because otherwise i probably wouldn't be without caffeine um but i have not had coffee in weeks and uh i even have a gift card some a really nice person gave me a gift card months ago that i haven't used i just realized that for um uh, starbucks yeah so i gotta use that so I look forward to, to that chance of doing that soon. Oh, did I show you my magnet? I can't put this in my car because I'm afraid someone will steal it. Because <laughs> a friend of mine said that. It's uh, my child can levitate your child. Baby Yoda. So Baby Yoda, he's cool. Uh, I can't wait for Mandalorian to come back. Um, Marvel shut down. Everything shut down. Disney shut down. Um... Film is film industry shut down, uh, TV shut down, uh, businesses are just about shut down. Um, I don't know, so <laughs> anyway, um, I don't have much more. Oh, one, one other show I'm watching, and it, it, it's um, film, um, and it was putting me in a um. I've watched uh, two things, actually. I'm writing it down here. What is the other one called? Oh, yeah. Okay. First off, the film. Uh, One of the films I was watching, I said Train to Busan. I saw that on Netflix, which is very good. Highly recommend it. Uh, Picard on CBS All Access. You can get the free pass right now on that. So, you know, there's 10 episodes. You can binge it real quick and then, you know, not sign up, I guess. Um, So it's free, which is pretty cool of CBS to do that. Um, I'm watching, um, or have watched, uh, the Brad Pitt movie, World War Z. I know it, I feel like Independence Day is next, which is probably one of my favorite, like, disaster movies. Um, I've wa- watching a series and I'm almost done with it, and I can't think of what network it's on, but it's called War of the Worlds. It's based on the H.G. Wells thing, uh, um, 
novel, I guess loosely, I don't know. It's a little bit different um, so far. I there's I think there may be about six to ten episodes of it, if that. Um, and I'm watching that, but War of the Worlds, it's got Gabriel, Gabriel Byrne, I think is his name. He played in that show called In Treatment on HBO a couple years back. It was a really good series on HBO. And it's got the lady who plays, I think it's uh, Lady Cora or whatever on Downton Abbey. And and she she's on there. And uh, so um, it's a really, really good show. I'm, I'm enjoying that. There's some other ones I've got to watch that, you know, might as well. Right. And uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to I guess I'm going to wrap this up and uh, and all that. Um, oh, hey, Regina, just joining us here. Um, just doing a live stream here. Um, we're taking questions, comments. We're just talking about what's going on, how we're getting through all this social isolation. Uh, what are people doing? What stories they care to um, um, share? And I'm also recording this as a podcast episode for my Geek Home World podcast. Uh, uh, I was talking about some of the shows we've been watching, just um, uh, like Train to Busan. Got to check that out. Um, I just said all this. Picard um, uh, on CBS All Access is free right now. Hey, Regina. Um, um, I was watching War of the Worlds, which is pretty good series. I'm enjoying that and all that. So uh, we were just uh, talking and I'm about to bring this to a close. Uh, I need to kind of end the episode and that's late. And, uh, but, um, I just want to leave you with a few words of encouragement. Um, one, the last episodes I did, I ended with this quote from uh, rogue one, um, that said rebellions are built on hope. So, um, you know, we can all get through this and so, and somebody commented, they really liked that. <laughs> so, um, I'm a Star Wars nut, so uh, of course I, you know, I, I'll quote Star Wars if I need to. Um, so uh, I hope everyone is happy, healthy. I hope you stay that way, you and your loved ones, and um, you know, uh, there's going to be a lot of things we're going to go through that are not going to be easy. And yes, I'm touching my face, but don't worry. I will wash my hands. I've been washing my hands profusely. My, you should see my hands are kind of like, <laughs> you know, when you wash your hands too much, but I kind of do that anyway, because I don't know, I'm a germaphobe uh, to an extent, but um, it's tough. It's tough getting through all this, but we're going to get through it. We're all going to get through it together. And, um, practice your social distancing, do, do what we need to do. Um, do what you can try to help others where you can, but, but please keep yourself self safe, happy, healthy. It's this thing to do. Um, and it's not just going to help you. It's going to help others. We'll, we'll flatten this curve. We'll not put so much stress on the, on the medical system, the, true heroes that are out there on the front lines, some without proper supplies, unfortunately, um, to those, um, working in the service industries like food and those, um, protecting us, police, firemen, fire people, whatever. Um, you know, we appreciate them for all they do every day, but especially now, um, to those in the military and I understand they may be calling up some reservists to uh, help out in like New York and places like that. So I hope everybody has um, really good. I hope everyone does really good and, and that we all can get through this together. So um, anyway, I've got, I'm going to end this up because I'm going to, it sounds like I'm rambling. So Anyway, uh, I want to thank you, everybody, for joining us here. Geek Home World Podcast. Uh, anywhere you hear podcasts, you can check us out. Also, geekhomeworld.libsyn.com. That's geekhomeworld.libsyn, L-I-B-S-Y-N.com. We're Geek, uh, Geek Home World on Facebook. And um, anyway, um, 
anywhere in podcasts are heard, you'll be able to hear this. So, all righty, I want to thank y'all for listening, for hanging out, and uh, joining me here on this uh, Facebook Live, and your questions and comments, really appreciate them. And uh, take care of yourself, and take care of each other, and and all that. So, goodbye. Thanks for, for joining us. All right, bye. Thanks for listening to another episode of The Geek Homeworld with your host, Savage Tech Man. You can find us on Libsyn, Google+. Follow and interact with us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Listen to us on iTunes and leave a review. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Read our thoughts on Blogger. See you again on The Geek Homeworld.